National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Beatty, naturopath and a health expert here at naturalnutrition.ca. Oftentimes children can get a variety of different infections and a very common childhood skin infection is something called impetigo. Impetigo is essentially an infection of the skin uh, caused by Staphylococcus aureus and Streptococcus pyogenes or, or what we often just refer to in short as Staph and Strep. And when these two bacteria uh, infect any type of lesion on a child, so they could get it from a small cut or a pre-existing rash that they have that then gets infected, they develop a condition called impetigo. And impetigo is typically characterized by a lesion that's, you know, it's red, it's scabby, and it often has what we call a honey-colored crust on it. So if, you're, if you notice on your child, they've got this scab that's honey-colored, uh, that's often impetigo and you should take them to the doctor to get a prescription for uh, some sort of antibiotic. Now, whether you like the pharmaceutical antibiotic or you're gonna use a natural antibiotic, that is the key number one treatment because essentially what you've got is a breach in the barrier of the skin that's now been infected by these two very common bacteria and that's gonna to lead to the development of impetigo. So in my office, when I see uh, people that have this, and I know I've referred to it as a childhood illness, um, anybody with an impairment in their immune system or an underfunctioning immune system, even adults can get impetigo. So if you do have it, typically in my practice, how we treat this is I'll usually use an oral antibiotic, uh, uh, typically of, a, of the herbal nature. Often I'll choose things like golden seal or Oregon grape as these are very effective uh, oral antibiotics to help treat that infection. And then topically, I'll typically use things like tea tree oil, or neem oil, as these are very, very effective topical antibiotics that will, again, what you're doing is you're attacking the infection from both ways. You're attacking it internally and externally, and that's gonna help speed up the resolution of this condition. Additionally, I'll typically add or, or put on Manuka honey, and the reason I like this is Manuka honey has special antibiotic enzymes found in it, and it does help speed the healing of infected wounds. And so that's why I find the Manuka honey a very effective add-on or adjunct treatment that you can use to just help speed the resolution of the impetigo. So if you or your child has this condition, it is manageable, you know, it's very easy to treat. Um, the thing is you do have to diagnose it effectively and then use effective treatment. And the real keynote is if you have that lesion and it gets that honey color crust, that's how you know it's impetigo. Go to the doctor, make sure they confirm the infection that it's not something else so that you know that the treatment you're providing is uh, the right treatment for that condition. Check out more of our natural health videos, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And always remember, knowledge is health.